say, who is the leader of the club was made for you and me. And I see Kate, you want to know what you would see. Say good morning. Or having a happy day. Dad is working. We are playing. And it is 55 degrees out. Welcome home. This little boy woke up from his nap. Jamesy. This little boy woke up from his nap. He looks so stinking cute. And we're gonna run some errands. It was so funny. The reason that James looked away and then was staring was because somebody actually wrote up on a Vespa, which is like his favorite thing with Luca. So like he literally had a Luca moment when he saw the Vespa write up. So we are at Petco now and this is little TMI, but um, you guys saved us on this and I wanna share if it could help somebody else. So Evie has anal gland issues and her vet wanted her to have like a really intense surgery and you guys in the comments actually like helped us decide to like get a second opinion but also to use something called no scoot and it, it has cleared her issue right up. So if anybody out there is dealing with scooting or any sort of issues of that nature with their doggy, Petco carries this, it's like a, just a chewy treat and it's like pumpkin and like Evie loves it. It's so yummy for her. Um, so yeah, that's, a, that's something that we have relied on forever. So it's just this little treat. She gets one and a half a day because of her size. But truly, you guys saved us on that um, that issue we've had years and years ago. We've relied on this forever. So that's all I needed to get at Petco. But we'll probably we'll probably get Evie a treat too while we're here. They have so many cute costumes here and Halloweeny toys. So many treats. I'm gonna get these churro -y treats. Okay, and for a little kicker, James and I are gonna get something to eat. We're on a mom and Jamesy day. Do da, do da. I had a hankering for chili cheese dog. So that's what I got. They're messy. Whoa. Oh, baby. Peter has been trying to get me to take out James to lunch um, or breakfast or something um, recently. And I really do want to make it, oh, this might be way too windy. Um, I really do want to try and take him on more walks because our neighborhood is so nice and accessible, but also just to stay active. Um, as you know, I am battling first trimester fatigue and um, nausea and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, that was the perfect little little date for us. I got Peter a pizza puff and some french fries for home. Um, he's almost done with his day. And I don't really know what we're gonna do tonight, but I will admit just like, you know, like sometimes like it's daunting to like, get everything together to get out. But once I do, I never regret it. I just put James down for kind of a later nap. Um, Peter's on his run, um, but I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to try out some veggie ramen, homemade. I have never done this before. I know like I'm, I have a recipe that I'm gonna like briefly follow. I'm gonna do my best, see how it goes. And I know that it's something that I'll like learn and get 
better at and learn little tips and tricks and stuff. Oh, oh. I had to get out of my run while it's daylight still because there's a windstorm coming through. We have Lakeshore flood advisories all the way from where we live, all the way to Indiana. They said 12 to 18 foot swells. Look at this. Typically I run down there. Woo. Probably couldn't safe all the way up here. But man, look how murky the water is just because of how choppy it is. Wait until I get down there. Just wait. Woo! Oh! Insane. Insane. Oh, oh, this is gonna be good. Oh man. Woo! Oh, I'm getting sprayed. Ayo! <laughs> Isn't that incredible about break walls? Not to be a geek out about that. Look how calm it is over there. Literally deadly over here. Okay, I think that's enough wild, crazy water shots. We're gonna probably, I might try to go out this time again tomorrow because there were weather reports were saying like the peak will be around five, six o'clock tomorrow, which is wild to think that this is gonna keep growing. It's like a hurricane almost. Woo! Wild. Look at that. Just absolute power. <laughs> I know I said no more, but it's wild right here. <laughs> Alrighty, so my broth portion is going. I did not know that this recipe required some blending, but I am committed, so I am going to do it. And then this recipe doesn't have tofu, but I want to top um, ours off with a couple of, this is basically the only protein, maybe a couple of other veggies. Um, but I pressed the tofu to get all the liquid out, and then I tossed it in cornstarch with coriander garlic salt and pepper and so i'm gonna bake it at 400 i think for like 15 20 minutes is what i read online guess who just used the blender without the lid being on i used the little baby like nutribullet and i didn't realize it was gonna be so touchy when i just like put it in with that was just silly but i only did it like I like, it was one of those instances where like, you knew it was gonna happen before you did it. And then like, you still did it anyway. So like, I set it down, I was like, I hope this doesn't, and then it went off. But it was just like a little spray, a little bit got on the wall, but I was able to clean it all up. Some got on the apron, so I'm gonna clean that. But thankfully, I mean, I saved most of it. I really didn't lose a lot of it at all. It's so hot in this kitchen. Um, but the broth is done now. I'll show it to you. The tofu is done now. I am baking some tomato, like I quartered a tomato. So that's gonna be part of the topping. Some carrots, some cilantro, the garlic oil that um, is at the beginning of the recipe I have on the side, some sriracha at the ready. It is smelling good. And the little bit that I've tasted is really good. Here is the broth. The mushrooms like give it that umami where it, it tastes denser and like meatier, just like really rich, yummy flavor. Then here is our tofu. And here are the noodles. This recipe had the noodles cooked separately. I've seen some where like you cook the noodles right in the broth. We'll see if we like it this way. We'll try it the other way soon, I'm sure. The garlic oil, that looks spicy. That won't be going on James's. Um, and then carrots and cilantro. I think I'm just gonna let the tomatoes go until Peter's done in the shower. He is back from his run. Alrighty, here it is. I hope it's good, I hope it's good. And then here's James's little bowl.
<laughs> Safe to say it was a hit. Did you like it, Peter? I loved it. It's so filling. I liked it, but there's just these bowls are so big. He's such a good eater. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. I know it fell off the spoon. To get you a new one. Look at this freaky sky. We made it out. It's just past seven. First day of fall. It's already dark out. Do you want to go in this park? Are swing. you avoiding me? A little swing. When you have a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> you love the swing? He's a fall kid with his fall mom, knocking a sweater. Who are you? <laughs> Dark at seven. What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? Ghosts. Huh? Goblins and ghoulies from last Halloween. Ooh. We're going to go home and watch some Hocus Pocus. What? I feel like we need to go get something like a warm piece of pie from somewhere. Ooh, I want to watch uh, Scared Silly. Ooh. I haven't ever seen Scared Silly. It's a Ronald McDonald Embarrassed. He just like screeched. <laughs> oh gosh, they're gonna go down the slide. Woo! One only one full day left with this uh this here old iPhone. Then I'll have a little better low light. It should arrive on Friday, I think. It does it chips I don't know, I don't understand the vernacular. Should we go for a walk now? Finally, after like 12, 14 years or whatever, we're finally going to get the opportunity to buy club season tickets. Yeah. We've been on the list since high school. We got hot apple pies to, to scratch our warm dessert need. We got the game on in here, That's even though it's right outside. It's a very cool store. Vineyard vine section golf section just all the good stuff um i'm also not thinking about buying a, a pair of seats from wrigley they were they have a pair on on display downstairs and i looked it up online and there's like different seasons that they remove the seats from that'd be fun to have yeah maybe like a hit in his room he wants them so we left and we're walking around the other side of wrigley to get the whole feel and we saw this this advertisement for Chicago Party Ant, an original Netflix series, September 17th, loving, loyal. What is this nonsense? It's September 17th. We should go home and binge watch the whole thing. I thought we were watching Amy Schumer. We are watching Amy Schumer. We got a ton of apples this past weekend, and we really got to start eating them or doing something with them. We also got this caramel dip, so I'm going to have a little late night snack. Once I started cutting this apple, look who comes to see what I'm doing. She knows that sound. That caramel that was, was the best caramel so I've ever good. had in my entire life. So good. Anything else to say for today, sir? So far, the internet pod is working out well, but my computer still like has the switch to the pod, but we yeah. now have our like generation two Apple TV in our bedroom. And it actually works. And our, yes. our baby monitor actually works on the internet. Yeah. We don't do cell phone data. Yeah. And um, 
Peter like doesn't have a set office here so it's like it's so it's so much nicer to not have to like worry about like where you're gonna be and all that good stuff that's why I have to like, worry about disconnecting like I can't just walk from the living room back there if I'm like running a process mm -hmm. but once I'm there like, I'm good yeah it's good to be home. It's good to be home. I'm excited that tomorrow's Thursday. I'm very excited and nervous about our doctor's appointment on Monday. Mm hmm I hope my iPhone shows up Friday. I don't even know if we've truly said that that's when we're having our ultrasound, our very first ultrasound, because I'm six weeks today. I think twins still. Peter <laughs> thinks twins. I just get, like, we call it scanxiety, like... I've never heard that know. before ever, so I don't, know who, I don't know who the we is that we oh, call Oh, the infertility community yeah. on the interweb call it and scan anxiety because it's just like you, you just feel good after a scan and then like when the next scan comes, it's like you get nervous again. So I'm definitely feeling worried, but I'm doing my positive affirmations and just saying like James, like everything went great with James. We've had great news before. And we're allowed to have great news again. Yeah. Good night. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>